Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Is there like a, a door somewhere? <laughs> Hello? A door? Is this a door? This is a door. Here we go. There, oh! What? <laughs>kindly Kian and welcome back to hello neighbor the new neighborhood this is a roblox game and i think that we played this like a long time ago maybe probably going back at least six months i would say anyways the maker of this game contacted me and said that they totally revamped the whole thing so i'm actually really excited to check it out and right off the bat it looks pretty stinking cool so let's give this a shot and it's practically like i'm playing a brand new game because i do not remember anything whoa Act one, you know what that needs when you walk and you get that thing pop up on the screen? It needs to go, here, I'll, I'll do the sound effect for you guys. Whoopsh. Come on, game. Let's try this again. It's gonna go, whoopsh, just like that. Act one, welcome. I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. I've actually lost my mind, but that's all good. So, uh, let's, what, what is happening in here? Neighbor? Uh. Hey, hey, hey there, okay, wow, he is jumping a lot, can you not, can you, can you not come to my house? I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm already dead, oh my gosh, he's in my house, what am I supposed to do about that? He's in my house right now, jumping on my cabinets, okay, you know what, that's fine. You stay there. I'm gonna head over to your house and let you do your thing over in my house and I'll do my thing at your house. This seems to work out. This is a nice arrangement. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> I have no idea why that worked, but this is pretty cool so far. Uh, hey, this, this nerd. I'm stuck. Who's this guy? Get rid of this thing. This is just, I hate this decor. This is awful. It doesn't match anything. Get this stupid painting out of here. I don't know why I'm so mean to myself. That's actually really cool. Thank you for the little Easter egg. Okay, so uh, we, we've got to find stuff in his house, obviously. Hello? Oh, that opened weird. Why? Why? That's freaking me out. Do all the cabinets open like that? <laughs> they do. Why? Why do the cabinets open so slow? That is really bizarre. Not going to read too much into that. I'm just gonna keep searching. Let's head into the bathroom. Can I go into the bathroom? I can. Okay, uh, maybe there's something up in here. Also, the sink is very broken. Y you should look into getting that fixed, neighbor. People need to wash their hands and brush their teeth. And also, I'm sitting on a toilet. I was stuck on the toilet. I am stuck on a toilet. I, I don't even know if I'm sitting on a toilet anymore. I think I might be swimming in the toilet. I'm bobbing up and down and I'm not touching anything. That's actually my goal. That was my goal the entire time. That's all I wanted to do in the neighbor's house was swim in his toilet. Please don't take that out of context. Okay, let's uh, let's just move along. I still haven't found anything in the house. But on the bright side, we don't have to worry about the neighbor getting us because he's stuck in our house like a weirdo. He's more concerned about whatever's going on in our house than he is uh, about what's going on in his house. And I'm literally like raiding his house right now. I could be a thief stealing everything that he holds dear. I'm not. I'm just investigating his weirdness. I could be stealing stuff. Just saying. Okay, maybe what we need to do is climb the cabinets over here. Neighbor's still over at our house. Perfect. Doesn't bother me. Let's do this. Let's see if we can... Uh, okay, all right. We got that going. Wait, there's something here. No, that's nothing. That's just a weird clipping issue or something. I don't know what it is. We need to jump over here. Or, I guess, I wonder... That might block us, but I wonder if you could jump to that platform. You might be able to. I'm not going to, though. I'm going to try to get over there. That's ugh, that's a tough jump. You think I can just jump over there from here? I might be able to. Give that another shot. Hey, yes, I made it. I made it. Okay. Can we jump through here? Yes, we can. Awesome. So we got a button here. Let's press it because we love pressing buttons. I assume this is a button. It's not a button. That would wait. That's a button. Door. Press. There we go. Okay, so we opened access to the upper level. Sweet. We can go through this. Okay. Golden key. Grab that, please. Okay. And then 
There we go. Okay, now, ooh, the car key, right? So we'll grab this. And now we should be able to open up like that. It's, it's kind of funny how they set it up. So basically the way that you access the trunk of the car is by opening like a shed that is... <laughs> That is attached to the back of the car. It's kind of funny. Hey, you know, actually, if we look off in the distance, I think that we can see Act 2. I think that might be Act 2 over there. And then, oh yeah, there you go. There's Act 3. There's the outline of Act 3. We got work to do to get to these distant worlds. But in the meantime, let's focus on opening up the trunk of the car. Let me in. There we go. Okay, we're in. I, can, I, can I open the door? Hello? I got to there we go. Okay. What do we got? Another key. I don't know where this one goes. Maybe this lets me into the closet over here. Let's see. Oh yeah. Here we go. Okay. That should open. Hello. Open. Thank you. And now open the door. It's very weird the way things open in this game, but I'm not going to hold it against it. We got a wrench. Grab the wrench. This is going to give us access to the upper floor, right? And then we'll have the key card and then we'll be done. That was way easier. I think the last time that we played this, I want to say one of the keys was hidden in our house. So they must have changed that. I don't know. Like it's been such a long time since I've played this, but it's pretty cool so far. It's very accurate. It's definitely very accurate to the to the actual game. Yeah, they changed a few things. I mean, like obviously this red key, I think it's supposed to be the key card. Wait, no, no, it is a red key because we see it in the opening cutscene of actual Hello Neighbor. He puts the red key in the kid's room. So that is right. So now we can just open this up and then open the door and then this should get us into the basement. Yes, here we go. Oh, this is cool. Okay, open up that. Can I crouch? I can't crouch. Okay. Oh, oh, we're in the creepiness. Welcome to the neighbor's prison. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. Oh, gosh. Oh, he's here. Okay. Hi. Yeah, that's that's just super. That's really great. Okay, I'm. I'm just, I'm just running for it. I don't know if there's a puzzle here that we have to actually solve. Oh no, this is a dead end. That's, yeah, that's very not good. That's super, okay, this, well, I accept my fate. I'm now dead. Okay, so this is gonna be a lot harder than that first set because we have to actually deal with the neighbor this time. So in the actual game, I think what you're supposed to do is get to the end of this area. Oh no, with the power off? or something like that. I don't, shoot, I don't actually remember what exactly we need to do. We can turn the power off over here, right? Let's see if this works. Okay, it, it did something. Is this, this gonna close? No, it didn't close. It's interesting. Okay, can I go through here? No, I can't go through there. Well, I am very confused right now. Let's, let's try and figure this out. The neighbor is standing over by the mannequin, which is just really annoying. It's going to make our lives a lot harder. Is there somewhere else that we can go? There's like nothing else over here. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Maybe there's a door over here. Nope, no door. And I can't go in here. What happens if I, can I pull this lever? I can't pull that lever. Hmm. I am confused. Maybe we can pull the lever that's over by the mannequin. Problem is... Neighbor standing right there. So he's gonna make this real difficult. Let's see if I can. Yeah, okay, yep. Yeah, he he definitely saw me. And he's gonna be there again. I've noticed that when he catches you, he just kind of stays in the same spot. I don't love that. It makes my life a lot harder. Oh, but we did open the gate. That's awesome. So we basically just need to like lure him. Hey, hey neighbor. Hey dude. Yeah, there you go. Okay, get get away from here. Where are we gonna take him? You think we can bring him somewhere where he won't see us? Oh, you know what? Maybe if I bring him around to this corner. <laughs> I got it. Catch me. Okay, so he's gonna hang out over here in this corner. Hopefully he doesn't notice us when we enter that room. Let's see, just avoid this back corner over here and he has no idea we did it we manipulated the neighbor into staring at a wall sweet okay did we did we escape oh what okay okay we did we we got to the end that was way easier than the actual game but it's still pretty cool okay so we should get stuck here and then does this take us to the next level act two did we make it i think we made it to act there you go Sound effects provided by Kindly Kian. Welcome to Act 2. Let's do this. Did we ever play Act 2 the last time that uh, we played this? I don't think we did. This is weird. Why are there little brick houses here? <laughs> what is happening? That's a little strange. Oh, and Bendy. Okay. 
sure. Just hanging out downstairs. Okay. All right. Cool. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go say hi to the neighbor. All right. Enjoy your time here. Whoa. Get a little cutscene. I like this. There you go. The Act Two House. I really like this act. So let's see how accurate it is compared to the real game. I mean, we don't, it, it, obviously it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Like I'm not judging this game based on how much it imitates the actual game. I just, I just wanna see. What do we do here? Maybe if we jump across to the neighbor is being really, really annoying. The music that plays when he's, when he's mad at you is really loud. Okay, he jumped through the window with me. What a nut job. It's been such a long time since I've actually played through Act 2 in Hello Neighbor. I actually have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to look for for new things that we can do. Let's go all the way to the top. What do we got? Oh, this is the shark room. That's right. Can I uh can I drain the water? Whoa. Oh, okay. As soon as you touch the water, you die. That kind of imitates the shark. I get it. Is there anything I can do with this little flower? Such a pretty little flower. Just a single flower hanging out right here. Okay. Oh, hey there, neighbor. Okay, he's he's angry. Um, I'm gonna go back upstairs. I'm gonna do the whole shark thing. Let's see if we can figure out this sh shark situation. There is a crowbar that we can get to, so I think we can just. Ooh, I didn't know if I was gonna make that jump. Okay, I have a crowbar. Don't know what to do with it, but I have it. There's the shark. Don't know why he's completely made out of like corrugated steel, but sure. Okay, let's go over here. All right, there we go. Can we go through here? We can. What do we got going on over here? Anything? Anything we can collect? Fireplace? Doesn't really look like it. We came through this room. Oh, okay. We've been here. Where does this lead? I guess we'll figure it out. Oh, that's right. The dollhouse. Can we do something with this? Can we open these doors? No, that doesn't really do anything. Interesting. So I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with this crowbar, <laughs> but... At least we have it, right? Oh my. Okay, something just broke. The, okay, the neighbor has apparently found us, but has he? Has he actually found us? I don't, I can't really tell. What is this? I can't go through that? Okay. Looks suspicious. What about over here? No, nothing? Okay. We're over here? Uh, there's nothing going on over here. Wait a second. Can I just leave? Can I use the crowbar to just... Are you serious? That's too easy. Are you kidding me? That was it? What the heck? <laughs> we got the cutscene and we made it to act three that quickly. I wonder if you can open up because I saw that there was a gate and there was a red key. I wonder if you can have an alternate exit there, but we found the crowbar like super easily and just escaped act two in the matter of like literally minutes. Well, here we are in act three. We found ourselves in the apartment. Uh, we got the little note down here with a bunch of gibberish. Thumbs up or I'll kill you. Oh my. Okay, my boss is really, really fishing for those thumbs up. I don't know if I can work for this guy anymore. Oh, here we go. We're heading to the neighborhood. Kawam Oot. Something or other. What? Oh, I'm here. Here I am. Oh, we got the burnt down house across the street. Can, can we do something with this? You think anything will happen if we, we go over here? We get to see Shadow Man, Shadow Thing. Hello, Shadow Thing? No, no Shadow Thing, okay. Let's go into our house, and I assume that once we go into our house, it'll take us to Act 3. Also, Lude Gak. You know, let's go inside. Let's see what happens. No telephone. Where's the ringing telephone? Isn't that how it all begins? The phone's ringing, you go and answer the phone, and then you wake up to the neighbor, like, stealing children? Whoa, what is happening? Where am I? The, we already saw this cutscene. Is it gonna happen again? I'm gonna play the cutscene again? Do I go to the couch? Okay, here we go. Act three. Whoosh. You're welcome. <laughs> I know those sound effects are top notch. And it is now nighttime. The moon is full. And the neighbor is the neighbor. Good narration. Great narration, Kian. Great job. Keep it up. Solid. A plus. Gold. Okay, here we go. Act three. I don't know if we're actually going to finish it, but it's here. What is, what is that? Do you see what I see? What is happening? What? That was we. Oh, it was the sun coming up. Why is the sun just a square in the sky? What is happening? Oh, I am weirded out now. Super, super weird. All right. Well, um, let's, let's head into the act three house. 
Let's see what we got going on. The house is kind of floating. Not gonna lie. It's pretty amazing. The neighbor has some kind of floating technology. There he is to say hello. Hello. Can, can we stop saying hello now? Can we not say hello anymore? Am I gonna do the same thing that I did last time? Is just lure you into my house and then you'll be stuck there forever? <laughs> amazing. Man, I'm good at this game. There he goes, doing doing the neighbor thing, which apparently is just jumping in front of an invisible wall. Great exercise though. That guy is ripped and that is why. Strong heart. Okay, I guess we'll just explore his house without any concern of him ever catching us. So basically what we need is crowbar and a key card, it looks like. So let's do some hunting. My first thought is that we need to get into the elevator area. Oh, it's got the like the secondary fear rooms. That's pretty cool. Can we go through this? No, we can't. We should be able to open it by like hitting a button over here, but I don't know. I don't see a button. Normally there's a painting that you have to hit to get this to open. Hmm. This might be trickier than I first thought it would be. Oh, we're in the party room. Four, seven, eight, five. What does that mean? <laughs> Can I play with this lever? Nope. Can't do anything with that, okay. Whoa, now that is a, that's a rig right there. That is quite the elaborate setup. I guess that's supposed to be a security system, but could you imagine having like a PC set up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 monitors? Holy moly, I have two and I already feel overwhelmed. I think I should get 16 more. I, I think I think it's time. Thanks for the great idea, neighbor. Now let's move along. Still don't know what this is for. Four, seven, eight, five. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's for that, that little spot that's like across from the train tracks. You guys know what I'm talking about? I don't even really know what I'm talking about. Cause to be honest with you, again, it's been a really long time since I've actually played Hello Neighbor Act 3. I have not been here for a long time. So I'm kind of remembering as I go and doing a really bad job, might I add. What is, oh, oh, okay. Four, seven, eight, five, enter. Open, yes, thank you, okay. Oh, we got the green key, sweet. Also, is the crowbar over here? Any crowbars over here? I'm picking up everything as I walk over it. That's a little annoying. I don't wanna hold this box. Take this box away from me. Okay, I don't think there's anything here, but we do have the green key, so we can do that. Let's see what is inside of the room at the end of this corridor. You, green key, open, thank you. What do we got? You gonna take me to the, oh, yeah. We're in a new area. That's pretty cool. Okay, let me grab the flashlight. Can I actually use it? Doesn't look like I can actually use it. Wait, oh yeah, I can. Yeah, it's lighting up the walls. Cool. I mean, I don't really need it. It's not all that dark in here, but regardless, thank you. Now, what is this? This, I don't feel like is based on anything that I've actually played in Hello Neighbor. So this is kind of a uh, custom fear map, which is pretty cool. Oh, is that the crowbar? That is the crowbar. We need you. Come with me. Let's go. Okay. Oh, we're back at our house. I don't want to be at my house. No, the neighbor. He's going to find me and he's going to hunt me down. No, you stay. You stay at my house. You stay at my house forever. Okay, let's lure him inside of our house into the kitchen. No, into the bathroom. Perfect. There. You stay there. All right. I know how much you love bathrooms. Neighbor loves bathrooms. Okay, so all we really need is the key card, right? So we should be able to open this up. And then once we get the key card, we're in. Now, where's the key card? That's a great question. I have no idea. Can I open up the elevator room from here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, got to get back into this floating house. No problem. Oh, we have to open this up again. Four, seven, five, eight. Was that? Was that it? Four, seven, eight, five? There we go, okay. I knew I had it somewhere in there. Let's see, can we get, uh, no, we can't go up there. This is weird. How do we get to the train? That's a great question. Hmm, I don't know if that's gonna get me to the train. Oh, wait, another room over here. Huh? Oh, I barely made that. What do we got? Are we, this, this is nothing. There's nothing going on here. Okay, what about the apple tree? Any golden apples in there? No, no golden apples, all right. Uh, I guess we can explore some of these rooms. We haven't really done that. Don't really see anything over here. Bathroom, anything in the bathroom? No, nothing in the bathroom. So how do we get to the other side of the house? We gotta get this door open. I have no idea how to do that. There's gotta be a lever or a switch or a button somewhere around here. I don't see anything over here. Ooh, what about this? This is interesting. 
Is there a magnet gun or anything? Whoa, whoa, I have no idea what's going on right now. That was a little scary. No, oh, there's really nothing over here, is there? Do you think pulling this lever will do anything? We can turn the power off, but I don't know if that's gonna open the door that we want to open. Also, what is this? Oh, this is the fear room. That was where the green key was. Okay. And also I'm realizing that the elevator isn't really connected to anything. <laughs> That's a little strange. What's going on there? I, I don't know if this is gonna work. Shoot, okay. Yeah, it didn't open. Can I just jump through? No, I can't jump through. Oh, you know, I should check the refrigerator, actually. Oh my gosh. The key card was right there. It was just in the freezer. I wonder if by turning the power off, we melted it so that we could access it. I have no idea, but it was there the whole time. So now, we should be able to open this. Yes, we're in. Oh my gosh, we're at the end. The final basement. Here we go. Let's do it. I, the key card, please drop it. Okay, let me in. What do we got? What's going on here? We're back in this basement. Is the neighbor here? He probably is. Knowing him, he's probably hanging out somewhere around here. Maybe, I don't know. Can we go through here? No, we go around this. Okay, we can. I think at this point, this is where you would get caught by shadow thing. Unless you have that ability to um, to crouch and turn invisible. This is kind of like the uh, ability check. Make sure that you get all the abilities. Obviously, we don't have those. Whoa. Oh, okay. I'm back in here. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> this is really weird. Is this going to take me to the giant neighbor battle? Oh, yeah. Maybe? I, I think so. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Okay. That scared the bejesus out of me. Holy cow. I was not expecting that. Hello, giant neighbor. Hey, it's great to see you. Holy cow, that was terrifying. Well, I guess we made it this far. We might as well finish it off, right? I have no idea what I need to do, but uh, I do see a path leading up to the top of the neighbor. So I'm hoping that's all we have to do is get to the very top, do some platforming. Easy enough. I can handle that. I've done enough obbies. Here we are at the very top. Um, I need to get inside of the house though. How? Whoa, that was weird. Don't jump when you're at the very top. Uh, is there like a, a door somewhere? <laughs> Hello? A door? Is this a door? This is a door. Here we go. There oh! What? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Always watching you. What is this music? Whoa, okay, that's pretty cool. I'm always watching you. Okay, that's that's great to know. That's great. This music is freaking me out. This is not from Hello Neighbor, as far as I know. This is creepy. Can I open this gate? Hello? Press the button, open. Gate, please? There we go. It's sort of opening, please? Why are you twitching? You're freaking me out, gate. All right. Creepy music is definitely playing. Oh, Shadow Thing. There he is. This is like Shadow Thing's domain. He's got a bunch of pictures of himself up on the walls. What a weirdo. What do we do here? Uh, oh, we need to hit that switch, don't we? Can we throw stuff? I can't pick anything up. How am I supposed to throw stuff if I can't pick anything up? I think I'm just gonna jump on this wind turbine type thing. There, fly across. Not gonna worry about hitting the actual switch. What is this? What does that say? Bluey's fridges. Okay, sure. Climb the ladder. Always watching you. You know, now that I'm looking at this, this kind of looks like bendy ink. Wait a second. What's going on here? <laughs> what is, oh, this is the final cutscene? Oh, this is. This is where you battle the shadow thing. Oh my gosh, this is actually pretty cool. What do I need to do here, though? Do I need to dodge his hands? Oh, watch it. Don't let him smash you. Wait, okay. There he goes. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm scared. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do there, but I think I made it and now I need to jump over all the shadow things. Oh, this is actually really neat. I like this. Oh, I got hit. Oh no, I got to start over now. This is a really cool like recreation of that final scene in Hello Neighbor. This is actually really neat. I like how it's been kind of customized in a unique way in Roblox. Oh my gosh. I got hit again. I don't I don't know if he has like a standard pattern that he goes through. Also, that's me, I think, up at the top of the house. I don't know what that is. He's doing like a propeller attack here. What are you gonna do next? You do one of those. And I think I can go. Oh no! No! Oh, whew. I, so, somehow I survived? No, I did not survive. Why can I not do this anymore? Come on, dude. Let me through. Come on. 
Let's get through this. We can do this. No, don't smash me. Do not smash me. Oh, I made it. All right, be careful. These guys pop up like whack-a-moles. All right, drop down. Go away. Please, please go away. Thank you, thank you. They're doing synchronized swimming right now. It's very, very majestic. Can you go away now? Thank you. Thank you for that. All right, you're next. And then you. Thank you. Really appreciate that. I'm just gonna head to the top of this weird house on this very shiny path. Oh, there I am. Save me or something. I don't know. Get to me. Did I win? Did I defeat the shadow thing? I think I did. This is where we see like the neighbor trapped in the house with shadow thing and get even more confused. Not quite understanding what's happening. But if we get to the exit, we save the neighbor. Is that what happens? I don't know. We just woke up. <laughs> we just woke up and we're done, right? This is where the ending credits show up and, and then it just shows us unpacking our stuff. Oh, that's cool. I like that. The end. So there you have it, guys. The new neighborhood. I liked it. It was a lot easier than Hello Neighbor. I do have to say, like, I mean, the second act was kind of a joke, but it was cool. I like the way that they kind of adapted Hello Neighbor mechanics to Roblox. And we got the whole game here. So that was, that was pretty cool. So guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Roblox. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I will have a link in the description down below so that you guys can check out this game for yourselves. But if you did enjoy this, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.